G'day guys, welcome back again. Green today. I tend not to do green. Green doesn't usually play nice, but I'm gonna have a go. So, natural tones, greens, bit of browns, beige, using a mixture of um, global paints, Liquitex Basics. And for my pouring medium, I've gone back to my favorite Three cups flow troll, one cup PVA, half a cup of any pouring medium you've got, and a quarter of a cup of water. Mix all that up. And you shouldn't need to add any water to your paints after you've used that pouring medium. Um, Liquitex Basics have been mixed uh, four parts pouring medium to one part paint, and the global, as usual, three to one. Three parts to one part. Um, this is a 30 centimeter by 60 centimeter canvas. It's a 12 by 24. Now I'm just going to put two drops of my treadmill silicone, probably can't even read that anymore, into each cup. Hopefully two will be enough. I've got lots of cups, so by the time you've added all those drops together, and my um, titanium What's this one called? Unbleached titanium. I'm using that instead of white. So that's the Liquitex Basics. Titanium white. This one is banana leaf. Uh, deep green permanent. Daintree. It's a yellowy green. I have one Matisse color and that is my Van Dyke brown, this dark brown. Back to global, green, deep, Liquitex Basics, light green permanent, Oops. and burnt sienna for a medium brown, and then this bluey green is my deep sea from global. One, two, one, two, just give it two little stirs each. Don't want to stir it up a lot. Now I've got five cups. Um, you may remember from my previous video, um, I had too much paint in my cups and I had to bring the cup down and then the leftover paint bring it back up the middle. I don't want to do that. I just want to drag each cup down. I think it's prettier that way than having the leftover paint coming up. I feel it is anyway, so that's what I'm going to try and do. I've had better results like that. I forgot to do it in my last pour and I just wasn't very happy with it. I should have stuck to what I know works. So this is my pop colour. You may remember me saying I have different shades of colours. I pick two colours and I have different shades of that colour and then I have a pop colour. So for this I've got green, I've got a, a dark green, a lighter green, a uh, lighter and then really light and then my browns I've got the three browns. This one here is my pop colour, oh, this, that's the bluey one. All right. I better hurry up here, I'm going to run out of time. I'll say hi to Gina DeLuca. Hi Gina! She doesn't like green either, painting with green. But I'm going to give it a go, see what happens. I've added some browns obviously as you can see just to you can't just have green I think you need some kind of contrast they're all natural colors blues and browns I hope I've got enough whoops I've got enough room in my cups for all this paint might have to make another cup full I had all my paints made up and I thought, oh, I think
think I need another green because I only had three greens. And since it's a green painting, I thought I'd better get another green. So that's when I added that one, the um, global green. Can't have more brown than you can green, can you, in a green painting? Busy today with paintings. This is my third one. I wasn't going to do another one because I did those two really bright ones. The um, what was it called? Lollipop and um, Candy Cane. Two really bright ones, and I thought, nope, that's enough. I'm going to sit down and watch some TV tonight. And um, I was cleaning up, getting ready for my workshop tomorrow, and I thought, oh, I'll just do one more. Here it is. Okay. Hopefully I've got enough room in these cups for the rest of my paint. Should do. So this is, I think, yeah, two layers of each colour. It's a lot of paint here. Um, can't remember how many colours I had. Eight? Nine? Um, anyway, it ends it up ended up being 980 grams of paint. So plenty. I shouldn't have to over tilt. Trying to fit them in is a problem, but we shouldn't have to over tilt. these they're gonna be so full and I splash out everywhere aren't they okay lucky last bluey green I hope this works my old recipe for the pouring medium. The last one I did the candy cane one um, where I just used PVA and pouring medium paint and water. I don't know that I actually was more impressed with the cells. I guess they were a little bit better. The PVA really helps to Bind the paint, um, keeps your cells in place. Okay, let that sit there for a minute. So I'm just going to drag these straight down. And if I do have any paint left over, um, as always, you can use it on the corners if you need to cover your corners. Looking good so far. I hope this turquoisey colour is going to work and not throw too much blue. It's kind of instead of black. I didn't want to put black in. I didn't want to put white in. So I've gone the dark greeny blue and the um, light cream, the unbleached titanium. All right, let's do it. Oops, there's a lot of paint in there and go a bit slow, I think. Oh, 
put a little bit of extra on the edges. Oh, that looks okay, doesn't it? Now, I'm very tempted to use this in there, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it. Wow, there's a lot of paint in this one still. Just run it up there over the edge. It can go over the edge. Quite a lot left. And I knew I was going to have a lot of paint. 980 grams is a lot for this little one. When I do my next size up, the 40 by 80, I use um, 1600 grams. I've decided that 40 by 40 is 800 grams. So if I have two 40 by 40s next to them, that's 1600. If I have three 40 by 40s, um, as in the 40 by 120, then I have to have three lots of 800, so 2400 of paint, and that's how I've worked out what I, how much I need. Torching time. I do prefer this pouring medium over that last one. You can see the cells jump up straight away. That PVA one, maybe it was just because it was too thick. PVA and um, pouring medium only. Might have just been too thick. I've decided that this mix is my favourite. All right, let's get to tilting. Now I don't want to go too much side to side. Um, and I've also decided, if you saw my other ones, I put those white stripes in between. It really um, defines where I've poured my cups out. And I think I like this better where they blend into each other and you don't see that definite white stripe as well. So that's something I've also learned this weekend. I'm going to go side to side, side to side to side and down on an angle like that. I think that's the best way I've found to cover my canvas. help that a bit because that's already covered down that end yeah I don't know about the blue maybe it's too much maybe I should have left it out and just stuck to greens oh well it's always a next time I have to keep experimenting don't I what am I going to do if I run out of experiments there'll be no more painting for me Okay, that's that side done. Move my cups. I've got a little bit of paint left in each cup. Around we go. Don't drop any on the floor this time. Keep dropping it on the floor and then I stand in it. Okay, that's back in my little marks. Alrighty. Hmm, not, not as much green as I was hoping for. The blue's really, the turquoise is really taken over. Side to side. I'm going to help this over here. I'm going to help that a bit as well because that's a big white bit to get over. Zigzagging, left, right, use the weight of the paint to help it go over. I'll touch up these sides later where it hasn't quite gone over the sides. Yellowy green is quite prominent, isn't it? But yeah, I think for a green painting, it's probably got too much blue in it. It's 
just going to bring the weight of the paint back again. So these up here are slightly overstretched. I'm just going to bring the weight down a little bit and see if I can just fix that a little bit, fix that composition. You might have to watch up here as well what this is doing if it's overstretching too much. All right, I think I'll just leave it like that. So, it's okay. Where's my spatula? I think I've put it away. I was tidying up. I started putting everything away for the class tomorrow and then I have to unpack it all. Just cover my sides with my little spatula. Try and match the colour that you've got on top. Just pick the paint up and let it fall down on its own. find that works better than trying to brush it on. Just put it there and let it fall down on its own because it makes a nice little pattern as well as it's falling down. We need some here. I need a torch too. 